Hi, Chris with RC Worst here. Today, we're gonna to be going over the Myers ME SPD Series Effluent and Sump Pump. This particular pump has been designed to meet the demands of septic tank effluent applications that require high head and an optional dual seal for submersible pumping. This pump offers solids handling up to three quarters of an inch. A two inch NPT discharge is standard on this pump However, a 3-inch discharge is orderable as an added option. The impeller is a two-vane cast iron impeller, and cast iron holds up very well to the caustic nature of the affluent. This particular pump series features class 30 cast iron construction from top to bottom, and because of the relatively high silicon content in cast iron, it has an inherent ability to resist subscale and oxidation, such as rust and corrosion. In addition to this, a water-reducible alkalid enamel paint is applied to these pumps, which is a robust paint that holds up to the harshest of environments. The coat of paint is between 3 to 4 mils thick, which is roughly 75 to 100 microns. This pump comes standard with stainless steel hardware and features a carbon ceramic mechanical seal and the motor has single row ball bearing construction. This pump is orderable with an optional seal leak probe which adds an extra mechanical seal chamber and can potentially alert you if a seal fails through a leak detection panel. The cast iron body and oil filled motor on this pump dissipate the heat generated by the motor and assist in prolonging the overall life of the pump. This pump can operate in liquids up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If the pump were to overheat, the automatic thermal overload protection will disable the pump motor until it has time to sufficiently cool. The minimum sump diameter recommended for these pumps in a simplex configuration is 24 inches and 36 inches for duplex configurations. By maintaining this minimal sump diameter, we ensure that the equipment has enough room for proper operation and helps to eliminate cord entanglement issues. The MES PD50H boasts a half horsepower motor and comes in both 115 or 230 volt single phase configurations. It's also offered in all standard three phase voltages. 208, 230, 460, and 575. The motor spins at a standard 3450 RPM, and these pumps can produce 50 foot of head at shutoff and a maximum flow of about 112 gallons per minute. This pump comes with a 10 foot cord, which is a UL listed type SJTW. The SJTW means that this pump's cord is rated for service in harsh conditions, including outdoors. The tough thermoplastic coating is extremely weather resistant and the seal fail probe is also going to be an optional addition to the cord. Though the seal fail probe will push the standard 10 foot cord to a 20 foot cord. This pump comes standard in both manual and automatic configurations. The manual version does not come with a float switch and is signified with an M after the full model number of MESPD50 M1 for 120 volt, 2 for 230 volt. The automatic version is signified by an A after the model number, just the same as the manual version. And the automatic version comes with a diaphragm type pressure switch and is offered in single phase only. When it comes to identifying the voltage, you simply need to look at the model number. On this pump, the voltage is indicated after the H in the model number. A 120 volt would be a 1, a 230 volt single phase would be a 2, and then you would have a 3 for 230 volt 3 phase, a 4 for 460 volt 3 phase, 5 for 575 volt 3 phase, and a 6 for 200 volt 3 phase. This hardworking pump will stand the test of time for many years to come, if sized correctly. If you ever need help sizing or selecting a pump, please check out the other videos on our channel or reach out to our customer service department. To learn more about this pump or review the specifications or installation guide, be sure to check out our website, rcworst.com. If you have any questions on what we covered, please leave those in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more great content. Thanks for joining me today and have a good one.